okay so this is the cover this is on the inside of the pot where it says the stainless steel plate is 304 okay you can see yeah the inside of the pot it says this side face outward actually this side is facing your soup and your cooking side okay this is the cooking side uh, the o-ring be careful this ring okay the underneath is the pressure gauge so always remember the o-ring is supposed to be the longer side on the cooking side okay the side that is facing your soup and your rendang all right i'm going to show you how to remove the ring and put it back okay for removal apply it forward Okay, the same way you apply it is the same way you're going to put it back. Okay, so now the ring is out. This is still facing upward. So to put it back, this is the tricky part. The putting back is okay, take the ring put it over and then slowly bring it to go over the edge it should sit into the edge nicely That's it. See, it should sit back into the edge nicely. Got it? So the trick is in this fixing part. A lot of people make a mistake because they miss out this part. Okay, so one more time how to take it out. Okay, fly it out. Okay, release the whole ring bring this for a thorough wash this one also can be washed then when you are going to fix it be careful this is the tricky part okay make sure the long side is on this is the long side okay the long one yeah the long side is on the same side with the screw then now slowly bring it over this curve let it catch on to the curve Okay, let it sit in, sit in the edges, make sure it's fully seated in, all round. Okay, do bit by bit, make sure it goes over the edge properly, all right. Make sure it sits in the edge properly, then you will be good to go. Look at this part. This is the tricky part. Yes, catch it and go, let it go over. See? Now it's good again. Got it? The long edge is always on the school side. Long edge on the school side. So happy learning this trick don't give up this is my best use utensil in the kitchen so i can be cooking a soup and a rendang so what i do is i do my rendang first take out the non-stick pot then i use the same pot and i mean i change the pot to the stainless steel one and it's good to go then i can heat up the soup when the it's time for dinner so remember the long side on the school side Okay, see you there.